So let's start by talking about how aging happens. How is it that you wake up one day and you just feel like you aged overnight? Anybody have that experience? You just look in the mirror and you don't even recognize yourself anymore? <coughs> there are three main theories on aging. Telomere shortening, free radical damage, and hormone decline. Free radical damage, if you think of, the, of a smoker's face, the collagen, the wrinkles of a smoker's face, that's free radicals damaging the skin. And we're going to talk about hormones because hormones are vital for repairing and uh, regulating body. So first, a little bit about telomeres. In order to understand telomeres, you have to go back to biology, so clear out the cobwebs, and remember that you have 23 pairs of chromosomes which contain your genes. Remember that, kind of? 46 chromosomes per cell, so that's 22 sets plus XX or XY. And basically, a chromosome is just a single piece of DNA. And it's interesting to note that more than 99% of DNA is the exact same between human beings. Exact same, less than 1% of us is different. Now, genes are segments of that DNA that act as instructions. And you have about 20 to 25,000 genes. That's about what's been discovered that makes up your human genome. And just as a caveat, especially for people who are healthcare providers and interested, we can now test for what are called single nucleotide polymorphisms, or SNPs. So those are variations in genes that can predispose you to certain diseases. So they're genetic predispositions that we can now test for. Think of your genome as your book of life. And if all your DNA was stored in a book, the book would be more than a billion words long, 5,000 volumes, 300 pages each. That's a lot of information squished into the nucleus of every single cell. A copy of your book is contained in every cell of your body except for red blood cells. So let's talk about aging and your genes. Your genes replicate themselves typically 50 to 70 times before dying. Telomeres, have you heard that term telomeres? You're going to hear more about it, are the end caps of your chromosomes and they act like aglets on a shoelace, so they pre prevent the chromosome from unraveling. And your telomeres shorten every time your cell replicates. The shorter your telomeres, the older your cells. So we can actually now test telomeres to see how old somebody is. And Daniel and I have actually tested our telomeres to see how old our cells are. Your telomeres shorten when your hormones decline. That shortening speeds up if you're under chronic stress, which can age you between 9 and 17 years. And it gets even shorter with oxidative stress or free radical damage, which is why we're going to be talking about these areas to hopefully keep your telomeres as long as possible, therefore preventing your cells from aging rapidly. Make sense? The duplication of your cells and genes is not a perfect process. Aging causes nicks, strand breaks, and fragmentation of DNA, and your telomeres shorten. And repairing this, these DNA flaws and telomere shortening is, the, is fundamental to anti-aging medicine. Again, this is what we're trying to do. So this is number three. Sorry, I didn't point out the other two on your handout if you're following along and want to fill in the blanks. You cannot change your genes. As my niece is fond of saying, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. All right? You just, you get your genes. You can't change your genes. But here's the exciting part. You can change how your genes express themselves. And this is really key. Sometimes I'll hear people say, I can't help being overweight. Everyone in my family is overweight. It's in my genes. Everybody in my family has diabetes. Everybody in my family has fill in the blank. It's not true that you can't change how those genes express themselves. You absolutely can. Longevity is thought to be at least 66% diet and lifestyle. So at least two-thirds of it is under your control. So we talked about telomeres. Let's talk about free radicals briefly. Free radicals cause what's called oxidative stress. And you can see oxidative stress in action when you combine iron and oxygen, and it turns to rust. So that's what's happening internally. We're actually rusting. That's oxidative stress. A free radical is an atom or molecule with an unpaired electron in its outer shell. And it's formed normally. So it's formed from normal cell metabolism. Your body makes free radicals. It's making them right now as we speak. Also ionizing radiation if you're exposed to x-rays, if you're exposed to sunlight. Cigarette smoke, terrible free radical damage with cigarette smoke, and toxin exposure in the environment. 
And free radicals cause chain reactions that damage your cells, they damage DNA, they shorten your telomeres. And they lead to aging. We know many forms of cancer can be from free radical damage, strokes, atherosclerosis, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, skin damage. So you've heard the term antioxidant. Well, antioxidants basically are like Pac-Man. They scavenge free radicals and slow the aging process. And here's some examples of antioxidants. Vitamin A and mixed carotenoids, vitamin C and vitamin E, especially the mixed tocopherols, which is how they're found in food. Flavonoids, selenium, which isn't technically an antioxidant, but it's part of an antioxidant enzyme. Coenzyme Q10, the hormone melatonin is an antioxidant. And glutathione, extremely important antioxidant. So we'll be talking more about those when we go over treatment. The third theory on aging is hormone decline. And we're going to spend a lot of time on hormones because I really want you to understand what hormones do. Why do they matter? Hormone levels decline with age. So sometimes people will say to me, well, how come I ended up like this? Well, because you aged. So your hormones decline with age. There's not much you can do about that. And your aging accelerates when your hormone levels decline. And this is a quote I love from Dan Bittner, who wrote a piece for National Geographic in 2005 that got turned into a book. He studied what he called blue zones. And blue zones are areas of the world where people seem to actually have a slow rate of aging. In fact, what they found was if you make it to 60 in Costa Rica, you have the best longevity chance in anywhere on the planet. So if we all turn 60, we should move to Costa Rica, it looks like. But this is something that Dan said that I, I really loved this term. We are not programmed for longevity. We are programmed for procreative success. What does that mean? That means the purpose right now of your genes was to pass on and then get rid of you because you compete for resources. So when your hormones decline, that's why you end up with chronic diseases or an increased likelihood of dying off because you have exceeded your reproductive years, your reproductive capacity. That is how we are programmed, procreative success. It's kind of bleak, isn't it? <laughs> well, we can do something about it. 